All right. Um, we got a tough one today, class. All right, we got these triangles here. I got a challenge for you. These triangles may look like AE is equal to IG, but we've learned in math, you can't just make those assumptions. We can't make those assumptions. We need a, we need a solid proof to know for sure if AE is equal to IG. And I'm curious if, as a class, we can work this out and do this together. What would that look like? When am I ever doing this? This? Proof. Are you serious? Proofs? Well, yeah. well yeah, I mean, you, you may use proofs, you may not, but, but you know, when you do proofs, do you know what you're, you know what you're getting when you do proofs? You know, what, you know what your goal should be? Your senior year in high school, I want you to go on the best spring break trip ever. I mean, imagine the great, somewhere where right now you think your parents would never let you go. I mean, like flying with your friends and going somewhere and getting there and, and uh, somewhere. And, and you know why that should be your goal? Because when we do proofs, when we do proofs in mathematics, I mean, we see we're obviously proving something here, but there's a lot more happening. We are training our brains to do something very important. We are training our brains to build arguments. We are training our brains to take things, pieces of information, and to see a goal down the road, and to take those pieces of information and try and learn how to make a logical argument that goes from A to Z with no holes so our parents can't poke a hole in our argument, right? We want the, the perfect argument of why we should go on that spring break trip or, or why anything. When we do proofs, we learn that certain things break down. Proofs are often invalid. If we don't connect the dots right, if we, if we can show a counterexample when it's not true, our argument fails. We have to learn to give arguments that are sound, that are reasoned, that are logical, and present it in a way that people understand. So if you work hard in geometry, Gina, if you work hard in geometry, and you start learning some of the, the notion of logic and of, of proof and of reasoning and argument, argument, then your goal is I want you to construct the perfect argument your senior year. That you can go on the, the most great spring break trip ever because you've worked the perfect argument to give your parents and sell them on that argument. That's why maybe you could use it in the future. Thank mm -hmm. you.